Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about does writing a session off your internal hard drive versus your external hard drive matter? Let's get into it. All right, so in my last video, I was showing the differences between running your sessions on an M1 and an M1 Pro. Go check out that video to learn more about it. In that video, I had a disclaimer that when I ran the sessions because I wanted to make sure things were equal, I made sure that both the other individual and myself ran them off of our internal SSDs. What I ended up realizing is that when I re-ran my own benchmarking session off my internal SSD compared to a prior video months before, the actual rendering went down from 80 to 50%. So this led me to believe, you know what, let's, let's do a video on this to see you know what the differences are with running the real world sessions off the internal SSD to get to the point here did it make a difference for me no but let's dive into that a little bit more first thing let's take a look at the differences between my internal SSD and my external SSD my internal SSD has a read and write speed as we've seen before over 5,000 you know megabytes per second where my external ssd which is an nvme drive uh, inside of an enclosure that has a usb 3 slash usb c that's connected to a thunderbolt hub and i'm getting around 700 on the read and write which is pretty good and performant now one thing to note is that originally I was getting some differences in the read and write. Sometimes it was dropping down quite significantly. Um, I also had to reroute some things. I used to have the capture card for my video camera that we're using right now connected to that hub, but it was actually eating up a lot of the bandwidth. So I actually had to move it to a separate port in the MacBook Pro. That gives more freedom for all of the devices through the Thunderbolt hub, which means that that will help my hard drive have more bandwidth to be able to use its maximum speed. Let's take a look at what I actually did. I tested five different sessions that were real world client sessions that I just pulled and copied between the two drives. I also brought my benchmarking session and we can see here that the renders are nearly identical between the two. This is really surprising to me. But this leads me to believe is that actually when I had run the benchmarking session before and I ran it my external and I ran it again now, the main difference is, is I'm on a newer version of Luna. I'm on 1.25 and before I think it might have been like 1.23 or 1.24, I'm not sure which one, unless I had clogged up the bandwidth and that also could be a factor. Either Luna's better, I've reconfigured my drive better. Either way, one of those two things are a factor. Now, I also wanted to take a look at the memory while I was at it. And what I found was interesting about the memory is that every session, it got higher, but that wasn't because sessions got necessarily bigger. And I think this just comes down to, as I kept opening and closing sessions, it was just not releasing the RAM quite as quickly. And as you can see here, you know, it's just getting slightly bigger, but then it starts to like level off by the last one. And this is literally the order in which the sessions were open. I just assumed that it was just starting to release a little bit of that RAM, but it was, you know, not needing to because I have 32 gigs of RAM and it may not need to release, it, you know, it right away. That amount isn't significant in the overall portion of what I have. If you had 16 gigs of RAM, I would assume that, you know, the computer would start to try to release RAM more quickly because it would need to. I think this really comes down to is, you know, running some tests on your external hard drive versus your internal hard drive, you know, running a Blackmagic speed test, which is free, um, and just to see if you have any bottlenecks, to see if maybe your drive is slow, to see if maybe your drive is slower than you expect it to be. As well, maybe it's performant at a really high number, but then inconsistent and it drops down to like 40, goes to 900, drops down to 40, and you need to figure out why it's doing that. Unfortunately, uh, no giant proclamations today in terms of internal hard drive being better than external hard drive, though all things are relative and you have to check out your own gear and make sure that everything is aligned. If you found this helpful, let me know that. If you would like me to dive into more about, you know, USB hubs and, and, and that kind of a thing and how they can impact your overall performance, whether it's Luna, whether it's another DAW, it doesn't make a difference. And otherwise, have yourself a good day.